Good day, Canada and hockey fans of the United States and Newfoundland. I'm on silent, coming to you from a cozy and beautiful broadcast spot. We're on the air tonight with NHL 20. It's the 2019-2020 mod for the classic game NHL 94. We've done looked at this before. Of course, the uh, every year the game is updated with new rosters and a couple new features by the good folks over at NHL94.com. I'll put a link to the website and uh, to the uh, Genesis mod, which I'm playing, in the description below. So it's another another look at uh, hockey. I'd like to do this. It's a fun one when you looked at it last time for, I think it was the 2018 Stanley Cup Final. Now, uh, as any good hockey game, any good sports game, would we'll start with last year's championship battle. The Bruins against the Blues, won by the St. Louis Blues. I guess spoilers if you haven't paid attention to hockey for the last four months. But we're not going to be playing this matchup, oh no no. We're going to be playing as my boys, the Detroit Red Wings, in contention for number one overall pick. And I figured if I'm going to be playing this game, we're going to be playing it against these guys, the Ottawa Senators, the only team. In the league, there's consensus worse than the Red Wings, although the Red Wings do have the advantage of having uh, the best GM in hockey, Steve Eiserman, on board now. So I think that's uh, good news for the Red Wings. Let's uh, turn line changes to auto, since this thing doesn't like to have line I like having line changes in game. I don't even know where, where line changes would be on manual in this, so... I assume that's what on would be, just manual line changes, but it's got automatic line changes. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Kevin Weeks for NHL 20. Kevin Weeks formerly. I set this up wrong. Goddamn. Hi, I'm Kevin Weeks for NHL 20. Welcome to a sold out Little Caesars Arena. So that's uh, what I had wrong the first time because it's a Canadian Tire Center. So uh, because I'm playing the home team, I would have been playing as uh, I would have been playing as Ottawa. Didn't want to do that. Anyway, Athanasio's on a hot streak. Nielsen's off his game. Kachuk is on a hot streak, but Craig Anderson is off his game. That's good because Anderson can be a very streaky goalie. So you, he had what? Like he had like this massive string of like, you know, shutout minutes, didn't he? Like a few years ago, and turned him into like one of the elite goalies in the NHL. So you don't want to run into that Craig Anderson. You don't know when that Craig Anderson's going to show up. Not behind this defense, mind. Hey, maybe we lost the draw. Here's Danny DeKaiser. He'll bring it up the ice. Here's Danny DeKaiser. He'll hold on to it. And give it away. This game crutches on the one-timer, I found. Oh, that one just stayed inside. Oh, it's icing? Ah, well. This will be drawback in our own zone. Draw, ooh, draw one by Larkin. Tried to give it to Anthony Manta. He had a hat trick the other day. Big save, Jimmy Howard. Headman up to Larkin. Can't quite get it to Tuzer. Tyler Bertuzzi. I'm assume related to Todd. There's a shot and blocker saved by Craig Anderson. For cold goalie, he sure made a good save. Here is... Uh, oh, God. Who's 17? There's... Uh, oh, Phil Heronic. Oh, there's a penalty. Veronic in the slot to Larkin. Let's go. Takes advantage of the delayed penalty, and Dylan Larkin will put Detroit on the board. One to nothing here early in the first period. Now, oh, Tyler Bertuzzi again. Sandwiched against the boards. Heronic repays the favor. Danny DeKaiser, he's pinching in hard. And he's knocked off the puck. Speaking of pinching defensemen, there was someone... Oh, Danny D. There's Larkin coming in back checking. He's a fast player, so that's not a surprise. He's... Oh, Mantha. From a, a weird angle. Larkin back checking. Big hit, Anthony Mantha. He's going to take it in. Tries to find Larkin, but nothing doing now, Mantha. 
blasts it from the plate, but misses. It's Phil Heronic from in front. Phil Heronic scores his second point of the game, and Detroit is up two to nothing. All right. Oh, hey, it's Val Philpula. He's back with the team this year. And Andreas Anthony, see you. He'll uh, work out the period. Yeah, uh, Val Philpula was the big offseason acquisition for the Red Wings. Well, him and Pat Nemeth, right? Pat was a free agent signing. I didn't look at stats or nothing. I usually like doing that sort of thing. Draw one by Dylan Larkin back to DeKaiser. DeKaiser looking for something to develop up the ice. He'll move it up to Tyler Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi looks for someone in the slot, but nobody's making a break to the slot. He'll work in the high slot back to the point to Phil Horonic. Phil has two points on the game already off of two goals. Poke checked off him, given to Larkin. Larkin moves it up, tries to find Mantha, but nothing happening there. And it is going to be icing and just... Danny DeKaiser brings it up slow. Big save, James Howard. Tuzer. He'll fire it from the high slot. Save by Anderson. It's about time he stopped something. Veronica with the hit, but not enough to knock the guy off the puck. Whoever the hell that was. Mantha with a blast. Rebound back to Mantha. And another blast. And Anderson stops that one as well. So as much crap as I give Anderson, he's keeping his team in the game. Draw one by Detroit. Back to Athens. See you. Over to Valtteri Filpula. Filpula looking for someone to give and go with. To Mike Green. Backhander on the, on the goal. That's what Taro Hirose with the puck. And he scores! Taro Hirose leaves Anderson's jockstrap in the stands. And it is a three goal Detroit lead. Draw one back to Daniel DeKaiser. Down low for Bertuzzi. Into the slot for Amantha, and it's blocked. Big save by Craig Anderson. Ottawa looking to threaten. Blocker save by Jimmy Howard. We'll give it off to Huronic. 20 seconds left in the frame. Mantha brings it into the slot and it's picked off. Dylan Larkin. And it's blocked in front. And that ends the period. Detroit adds another one in the second stanza. So we take a look at our out of town scores. Columbus over Philadelphia. Montreal leading Carolina 3 2. New Jersey is pounded Florida 5 2. And it's uh, Calgary leading St. Louis. Shocking. Uh, am I reading these right? Am I Tampa? And I've missed that one. San Jose and Boston levels at three. Colorado 6-4 over Los Angeles. Nashville leading Minnesota in the third. Oh, we've got a highlight coming here. This is going to be Nashville. It's going to take it back up the ice. In front, nothing. Happening there is blocked out front. Minnesota takes back the other way. Here's a shot. Scores! Is that Eric Stahl? Is that Eric Stahl? Ties it up and they're going to go to overtime. Oh, here we go. Overtime. <laughs> Matt Zuccarello just sieves it in there. Oh. Artie Astrom special. That's a heartbreaking way to lose a game. Checking lines out for Detroit. Franz Nielsen wins it to Mike Rasmussen. Ottawa takes the other way on the breakaway. Let's, oh, they get a rebound in there and scores. And Colin White could kiss my ass, busting the shutout. All right, Darren Helm. Long time Red Wing. Quick player when he's not injured. Quick, but not that. Oh my god, Chalowski, what was that? Okay, there's Helm. He's going to bring it up the ice, slowish. 
two... Oh, God, 81. Franz Nielsen, we talked about him already. He was 51 last year. I don't know how Jimmy stacked the pads and stopped the puck going for the top of the net, but... Oh, that's going to be icing, despite the fact that... I didn't catch who it was that got railed, but somebody got railed. And that was a quite unfair icing call. Michael Rasmussen? He'll bring it in. There's a shot. Rebound! No! He's drilled before he can get to the puck. Darren Helm with a big hit. He'll get it up to Rasmussen. Rasmussen shot from the slot and a blocker save by Anderson. Rasmussen will just poke it in deep. Down the corner is Ottawa. Ah, oh, the one timer they score on that. This is why 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 is this why is the checking line out? Why can't I have a good line out? There we go. There's the scoring line. There's the guys you need. Those are the guys that have been putting pucks in and keeping them out, Heronic. Now here's to Danny DeKaiser. He'll bring it up. One minute remaining in the period. Twos are out front. Shot stopped. Rebound twos here. No, it's blocked. And it's given away Dylan Larkin. Larkin. Oh, can't put it home. That should be enough at this point. Eight seconds left. Veronica will dump it down in Detroit. Picks up the big win. First star of the game, Phil Heronic. Second, Jimmy Howard. And third is Craig Anderson. That was a close one there for a bit. It's a big win for the Red Wings. Let's take a quick look at the player stats. Heron got two points. Hiroshi got one and Larkin got one as well. Can we just see points? Mantha also picked up an assist on the first goal, but the other two were... Uh, I guess Heronic and Hiroshi's were both unassisted goals, so... A lot of big hits from, uh, Chronic. Making his presence felt. It's a good, uh, good day for him. Alright, so, one game down. Let's do another quick one as well. Not, uh, not this one. Now there's... Now, in order to keep the teams even, this is the 30... This is a 32-team mod, but as you know, there's only 31 teams in the league next year next year that they're adding the Seattle whatever the hells they are so I don't rate their chances as great as uh, I know a lot of people say oh yeah Seattle will be as good as uh, as Vegas and I don't know Ron Francis mm, as general manager it's like eh. does he have that pedigree but we're going to be the substitute 32nd team it's the NHL 94 All-Stars which is Full of, well, the best players from NHL 94. You've got Pat Wavisaw, Ray Bork. Like, we're talking legends, Hall of Famers here, right? Oh, Chris Chelios. Oh, God, he looks so young. <laughs> Considering he played for, like, ever. Oh, my boy, Steve Heiserman. We were just talking about him. I'm trying to Pavel Bure. Uh, who should we put them up against? I don't like Toronto. Let's have a beat up on Toronto. <laughs> After that last game, I'm not sure that's going to happen, but hey, we can always hope. Hey, tw number 12, Adam Oates. I remember him. So where's Kevin Weeks coming to us from? The Sold Out Hockey Hall of Fame Arena. The National Hockey League game features the Toronto Maple Leafs and the NHL 94 Hockey Hall of Fame All-Stars. Eiserman's on a hot streak and Ray Bork's off his game for Toronto. Tavares is on a hot streak, but Morgan Riley is off his game. I was hoping... Uh, Fred Anderson here, who's going to be off his game. I wonder what Hockey Hall of Fame Arena, quote-unquote, would be. The closest arena to them is uh, actually the... Um, what's it called? Um, Air Canada Centre, Scotiabank Centre, whatever it is this week. I'm not sure where Maple Leaf Gardens is in downtown Toronto, to be honest. Not from there. I've been to a game at ACC, so I know that. So there's our NHL 94 All-Stars. Lo lose the draw. There's number 66, Mario Lemieux. And 
there's a stop early on. Number seven. Oh, let's go! Paul Coffee! Blasts one blocker side. And the All-Stars are on the board in the first minute of the game. Number 12, that is Adam Oates. Pavel Burry. Well, great offensive stars. He'll move it back to Ray Bark. There's only one number 77 worth it. Well, I'm sure someone will argue with me on that. And it's in, Adam Oates! And that was a pass from Lemieux, but uh, we'll take it. And the NHL All-Stars up to zip very early on. Lemieux doesn't win the drop, but does gain possession. Big hit, Raybark. He'll bring it in. But he can't handle the pass. Pavel Bure. There's Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews, an all-star in the Arizona State Penal League this season. Oh, Bure can't bury the rebound. Now Ray Bork picks up possession of it. He'll move it up to... Burry, Burry in the slot. Can't get it by Anderson. Burry again. He's bumped, but can't get knocked off the puck. Now he is. Patrick Wah will take it. He will head man it up. Pavel Burry locks it to the slot. Blasts that one. It's a good thing it missed everyone. Paul Coffey, he's got the first goal of the game. But loses it mid-ice. Ray Bork make, having a good day himself. Blocker saved by Anderson. This game goes fast when you're trying to call the action. Oh, Lemieux, he's up. That's the one thing about Mario Lemieux. He, he was such a great player, but his size, he used his size to his advantage. But he, he was deceptively... Oh, somebody just got sentenced packing into the bench. Up to Adam Oates. Adam Oates has the second goal of the game. He'll gain possession. Will he? No, he won't. Burry, but that'll end the period, and that's the first stanza in the books. As the Angel 94 All Stars lead two to nothing. Let's take a quick peek at the game's stats. Ten shots on goal to Toronto's two, and I'd much rather keep it that way. Man, we're out hitting them too. Can't win the draws. Making smart passes, making big hits. That's what you need. Good old hockey game. Lemieux will take the draw to start the second period. And draw one to Adam Oates. Who will shoot and stop by Anderson? Odd man rush for the Leafs. But Patrick Waugh will take care of it. Up to Pavel Bure. Pavel Bure. In the slot. And stopped by Anderson. After a shot from one of his own dudes. Up to Oates. Oates over. Oh, he was looking for Lemia. He could have put the best on the board. Oh, big save, Patrick Wah, who will freeze it for a faceoff. I thought I'm. I, are there line changes? Because we haven't seen second lines for either team. Oh, Burry can't do anything with that. And that'll be frozen for a face-off. Not that I mind. Like, you see who's out here. It's not exactly like you're short on talent and the All-Stars will go to the box. Ray Bork will sit in the sin bin in one minute for roughing. So PK2 goes out. And it's Mario Lemieux on the second penalty kill. He'll just dump it down. And the puck, uh, the net comes off. It's moorings. It's going to say, oh, we're going to take it back the other way. Chelios. Oh, he tries to center it, but picked off. And it's going to be Kasperi Kapanen going off for a slash. So scoring line two is out. Draw one over to... Oh, Wayne Gretzky! He goes behind his net. Gretzky in his office. He'll look for someone up front and ends up flipping it over the boards. Gretzky and Iserman on the same line. Hell yeah, brother. 
Draw one back. It's Adam Oates centering that line. Up to, well, he was looking for Burry, it looked like. And big save, Patrick Wong. Steve Eisman, he's going to uh, he's going to quarterback the power play. 16, Pat Lafontaine. Oh, it's Burry. He goes looking for Oates. Oates. Can't, it's Pat Lafontaine. I want Pat Lafontaine to score. I want Lafontaine to score. Because I want to do that. I want to do the generate. Hockey fans know exactly what I'm saying. Coffee can't find it's find the mark for. He was looking for a second of the game. No scoring in the second. Only two shots that period. Not great. Not great. Let's take a look at some of the checking stats. Ray Bork. LaFontaine's barely been on the ice and he's gotten a couple of hits. See some of the other names on here just very quickly. Brian Leach, Al McInnes, Scott Stevens, Phil Housley, Paul Coffey, Cam Neely, wow, Brett Hall, Mark Messier, Timu Solani, Steve Eisenman, Luke Robitaille, Mike Gartner, Chris Chalios, you have goalies, Belfort, Fuhr, Grant Fuhrer, and Patrick Waugh. Larry Murphy, wow. Eric Lindros, was he? Yeah, I guess he would have been around then. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, Joe Sackick, uh, Dougie Gilmore, and we've seen Wayne Gretzky. Man, that's a murderer's row of players. Checking unit is out. Lindros anchoring the checking unit, who's, I'm assuming, anchoring the checking unit because he's, like, the biggest bastard on the ice. Matthews robbed by Patrick Waugh. That's because he's going to have to rob Blake, but... Draw one back to Rob Blake. That was Rob, right? <laughs> he takes a minute to make sure he's not... No, Scott Stevens! Why do I think... Well, it's number, another number four, right? Oh, Christ. Scott Stevens. And Eric Lynch. Oh, come on. That was a cross-check. Larry Murphy. You know, blasted from the point, but just over the net. Need McKinnis out here. Cam Neely. Can't do anything with it. Murphy overskates it. Everyone overskates it. Lindros picks it up. Oh, he was looking for La 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 Fontaine. Uh, try that at some point. Oh, hang on. We'll just freeze it. Three minutes left in the game. Three minutes left in regulation? Yeah, it's better. Scott Stevens. Up to LaFontaine. Pat LaFontaine, he's looking for something. He'll shoot it just wide of the goal. Matthews, he's gonna go in, but he's stoned by Law. He was looking for LaFontaine, who was... Checked off the puck, but LaFontaine will get it again. LaFontaine, no! Eric Lindros, stoned again! And it is frozen by Anderson, 149, left. And this is the first unit goes out. Draw one back, Lemieux's got it. And he'll knock his man off the puck. Oh, the shot in the stop by Anderson. Rebound in front to Pavel Burry. He'll get a couple cracks at it. Penalty coming up against the All-Stars, late in the going. And that's shot out of play, but that will activate the penalty as, uh, oh god, of course he went. Messier anchoring this unit of the penalty kill with Dougie Gilmore. Paul Coffey, he'll send it around, he'll send it down and out of the ice. And the goalie has been pulled for Toronto. Here's Paul Coffey, he's got it back. He'll send it down the ice. Messier with it. He'll shoot. Miss the goal. To Dougie Gilmore. Toronto legend. Can't do anything with it, but that'll end the game. As the NHL All-Stars demolish the Toronto Maple Leafs. And Patrick Wall, first star of the game. 
Let's say it would have been nice to get coffee a second goal. It would have been nice to get it. was Dougie Gilmore. That would have been a cruel irony. And Leafs legend scoring against Toronto there. Other scores from tonight's game what was at Edmonton over St. Louis. Colorado 5-3 over Ottawa. Chicago 5-3 over Philadelphia. Arizona beats the defending Eastern Conference champion Boston Bruins. Minnesota squeaking one out past the Carolina Hurricanes. Tampa just getting a measure of revenge against Detroit for stealing their GM. Buffalo and New Jersey in a defensive defensive battle 7-6. So yeah, that's our uh, ever so occasional look at NHL 94. And now next year it's going to be uh it's going to have well, it's going to have 32 teams in a 32 team NHL. Going to be interesting to see how that works out for the new Seattle whatever the heck. The Seattle, make sure you're done by late July so that way we can host the international here's <laughs> so yeah because I was going to say I was hoping the international is going to be in Vancouver again since they said it to China this past year so it's a big market for them so I understand but I assume it's going to be back in Seattle next year it's the only Dota 2 I watch is the little bits of the international anyway we're talking hockey I think I've probably seen more hockey and hockey highlights this year than I did last year and we're a week into the season but I think that'll do it for this look back at NHL 1994 for the Sega Genesis. So until we see you again, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is on silent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more classic games in various playlists. They're on the screen in the description down below. And more videos in time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.